In this video, we show enhancements to Feature ID in version 3.8 and also preview improvements that will be part of version 4.0 to be released in the first half of 2022. We only cover improvements that don't relate to OVL, the Universal Variability Language. However, releases 3.8 and 4.0 contain numerous improvements to the Universal Port of Feature IDE. We cover those in another video. One goal for release 3.8 has been to improve the usability of extended feature models with attributes. By default, the feature attribute view is now part of the feature ID perspective. As we open the sandwich model with attributes, the feature attribute view automatically comes up. Also, if we open a feature model that, that does not support attributes yet, you can simply click on the convert button from the same view to export the model into another format with attribute support. Feature model obfuscation is now also possible with extended feature models. Obfuscation means to automatically replace feature names and features and constraints with random values to remove information that should remain confidential. For this sandwich model, we've added attributes for calories, fries, whether an ingredient is a genic, the string attribute that stores an adverb for its ingredient. To obfuscate this feature model, we just right click on it in the package explorer and then go to feature IDE, export obfuscated feature model to create the obfuscated model. If we switch to the attributes view, we see that along with the feature names, the attribute names have been obfuscated as well as the adverb string values. Other minor changes include autocomplete for features containing spaces, automatically adjusting the feature model to the editor size when opening it, and automatically renaming newly created sibling features. This concludes our section for version 3.8. We now preview changes for 4.0, starting with enhancements for cross-tree constraints. In version 4.0, we can toggle whether constraints should be shown or not, regardless of the constraints view, further improving the integration of the view. Further, constraints can not only be described by the formula and description, but also be assigned tags that group related constraints. From the constraint editing dialog, we can add new or already existing tags, as well as delete existing tags. Another major improvement is the display of feature model anomalies and their explanations. With version 4.0, we can now focus on all anomalies of a certain type, such as dead features, false optional features, or redundant constraints, and provide combined explanations for all of them. Finally, we have simplified editing configurations for existing feature models. In particular, resetting all manual feature selections doesn't require deselecting each feature by hand. Instead, we just click the Reset Manual Selection button and undo all our manual selections. This concludes our video about part of the improvements in Feature IDE. As mentioned, we refer to the second video for improvements to UVL. Thank you for watching.